okay so so this is a presentation for buddha pace business school it is one of the uh, not only hungary it is one of the world's uh, top uh, uh, school so this is a member of european union since 2004 hungary and hungary is located in the heart of europe and it has many old universities and bbs is one of them so you can see in the logo it is established since 1857 so it is more than 156 years old university and one of the top notch with world ranking of 71 webtronics so this is the one of the fascinating beauty of the hungary so now coming back to the things like from the Insta instagram it is a fourth place in hungary where majority of people visit over there and apart from that uh, i can say that is the total uh, uh, 4.2 million tourists every year they visit and the population of uh, uh, this country is just 2 2 million so double the amount of the people are visiting over there and buddha pace is one of the best location to visit over there right so this is the places you can see over there we are uh, in the first in the uh, there so there is a danube over there on the river danube there is a bridge and on the left hand side you can see the parliament of the hungary and the right side you can see one of the livable livable area of one of the streets uh, on the where the most of the visitor goes over there to seeing the sight see so this is the autumn uh, where there is the blues uh, right time to visit in the spring now comes like uh, how many hours a student can work over there right it's 30 hours whether it is a bachelor student or whether it is a master student right then there is a 9 months stay back option is there 9 months so 9 month means if somebody complete their studies of 3.5 years 4 years or 2 years they will get additional 9 months to stay over there now comes the living cost so here we have mentioned the maximum living cost that is 600 euros but the actual living cost is between 450 euros to 600 euros depending on the uh, way of living of any international student somebody live uh, individually somebody live sharing so it cost a lot so in the living cost all the way it is similar to germany france italy spain how their living is there same living uh, standards has to be taken care over there in the hungary now comes what about buddha pace business school is all about we have more than 18000 students in our campus we have a three different faculties three different uh, faculties we have and we have 1100 plus international student from 83 countries right so we have one phd program 11 bachelor's program and nine masters program all with 15 programs all together with double degree program which i will later phase of time tell you how the double degree consider so this is the like map from where the different different parts the people come in the so this is our international partnership so we are having a partnership with 466 universities across 58 countries on different different projects 104 project partners research work we have mobility partners we have and top 10 countries where majority of the student goes after finishing the first year with buddha pace business school university of applied sciences so first is germany france spain italy united kingdom poland turkey finland portugal and china okay now come the mobility program so in mobility program what happen if i talk about erasmus process so in erasmus the first year they will be studying with our university and the second year they will be studying with our partner university anywhere it is in uk spain netherlands anywhere which we have listed over there in schengen or non schengen now they are after we have a double degree program right double degree program we say cpus so it means they will give the tuition fees of the buddha pace business school for entire duration but they will get a two degree over there and then uh, comes the double degree where they can be able to get the double degree so in faculty of commerce and hospitality in spain france germany so they can they can go and finish their final year over there second thing is there in international management and business they can go in germany netherlands taiwan belgium uk they can study their final year over there and then they can get a two degrees one from bbs another from from the partner university third is the faculty of finance and account so we have a netherlands and belgium over there so they can study and they can get the degree over there now comes the uh, membership and accreditation that is a very important thing 
right so it is much very much important that what accreditation your university have so we can say here we are the member of iau international association of university european university uh, gem acsb uh, urash cman prme apart from that we are the member of nibs also cipr also and institute of hospitality also for bsc and masters program bachelors and masters program now comes the center of excellence when i talk about the center of excellence let me tell you what is center of excellence center of excellence means when a student is studying with us and if they are placed for a on the job training for example in bosch in city in microsoft so finally they will come up with the uh, employability they will not that they would have to head hunting for the jobs so that is there in another words the another name for center of excellence for with us is there oriental business and innovation center what we have given in our name so we have different different buthapis lab entrepreneurship center a higher education research center we have a future value chains we have sustainability we have so with different different taglines we have different so now i'm going to tell what is bbs right so we are number one in hungary in terms of webtronics business school ranking in the world and in hungary also in the world we are in 71 and third biggest university in hungary in terms of uh, faculty of finance accounting and he faculties and thereafter comes a student is studying with us we can facilitate with the uh, employment so 78% of our student they get a job offer before graduation so that is something uh, bigger thing what we can mark up on our words now these are the partner labor market in which the student get placed in jobs coca cola pwc google iu chan process ibm deloitte these are some of the our partners prestigious partner now comes what different faculties commerce hospitality and tourism it's one part finance and accounting second part third and last but not the least international management and business in budapest so you can see here one uh, one sphere you can see in the left there is a commerce hospitality tourism another on the right you can see on the above it's finance and accounting campus and beneath there there's the international management and business which is one of the biggest campus as compared to other two campuses over there in hungary now comes programs which we give in english there is a two different thing in europe there is their mother tongue that is hungarian and another is english so in english we have in bachelors we have all together we have a six programs and then in masters we have a three program but in doctoral phd we have only one program so you can see over here we have business administration management international business economics finance and accounting commerce and marketing tourism communication media science tourism management international relation international economy and business and masters and phd doctoral school of entrepreneurship and business so now comes very important thing 100% scholarship so can you apply for a scholarship i will say yes surely so this is the thing the application deadline is 15th of january which is coming and the program which we'll say it's a stipendium hungry because we are a government university so we can give 100% scholarship up to 600 international students at bbs from 40 countries why so what happen in a 100% scholarship let us understand it is for bachelors also masters also and phd second what we give they don't need to pay a first year fees over there second year fees third year fees or four years fees that means exemption from paying tuition fees year on and year then a monthly scholarship is there apart from that they will get a accommodation allowances for example their living cost is 500 dollar to 600 dollar so they will get a stipend from the university from the bbs for their living over there and for their i can say maintenance for their living cost they need to uh, for the dormitories or for their home stay or for their uh, food all together so that towards count towards around 50000 euros generally we have given a roughly estimation so that is and there is a very high visa success for a scholarship student stipendium hungrim student so they have very very high success ratio is there now comes the erasmus process so which i talk about before that after completion of one year of study they can study in our different different so we have a 200 plus international partner university so these are few of the universities like mention over here in which a student can go in the first year what happen they will give a 5000 euro or 6000 euro bachelor or masters and in the second year there is exchange they will study the tuition fees at a much lower prices of that of that 
if their 5000 euros is there they will go and every month they will get a scholarship of 500 euro approximately so which means if they pay 5000 euro they will get a buyback of 6000 euro if they are paying 6000 euro almost the same amount has been refunded back for the second year under erasmus process now comes the double degree program as i told for this we need ielts 6.0 mandatory overall so this means two module 5.5 in the first year what will happen a student will study in budapest business school second year they will be in a partner school with us in leven belgium uclll and in the third year we will give a choice they can study in a france and rennes business school auchen germany dublin business school in ireland or london school of Bu uh, business university or boxster or coventry so these are the four uh, countries where they can finally study their studies at the same price just simply at 5000 5000 euros so you can think that how less is there if we compare so it is totally less what they are going in a first year uh, in a last year because generally what happen in uk uh, every year fees is 12 to uh, 14000 pounds so they are not paying that they are paying the fees of budapest and they are studying and getting a degree from there in the final year right so till now here anybody have any sort of question uh, hello hello uh, hello sir this is ashwati here yeah tell me how may i help you uh, so, yes uh, regarding this particular program which you had mentioned so the student can actually fly to uk and he can complete his graduation last absolutely, year absolutely absolutely it's not about uk they can study final year in france yes. and they get a yes. uh, university degree from france also by studying one year mm -hmm. they will study for okay. one year and, but they get a degree of can, four years okay and it can be done in that same cost only yeah same cost that is the biggest thing na your you will get a two eu degree less than 7000 euro less than 7000 euro try to understand okay 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 so this and, is the uh, if suppose yeah so if suppose they want to continue in the same country so that stay back option and everything will be uh, yeah remains the same similar. remains the same remains. but if they go in a uk for the final year and they got a degree again there the stay back mm -hmm. option will change uk uh, immigration yeah, rules yes, apply yes. france rule apply yes. germany ireland so things are there yes. so this okay. is one of and the what program acha and the visa and everything will be taken care by the university itself uh, the thing is there once they get the hungary visa they don't have any problem mm -hmm. why because after hungary they are going for a belgium right they are in schengen yes. now when the yes. final year if they will opt mm -hmm. for uk then only mm -hmm. the university will help them for the uk otherwise for france germany and uh, they don't need any visa ah. but for ireland and uk they need a visa Okay. 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 Fine. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Anybody else? Somebody have any sort of question? Some unique question? Yeah, meet sir. Yeah, meet sir. No. no. Yeah, yeah, sir. Um, Tell me. Meet sir. You you had spoken to me regarding some pre courses also. That yeah. So you can hundred percent scholarship later. Yeah, hundred percent scholarship. That is hundred percent scholarship. this is here in this same course yeah yeah i will tell you what is 100% scholarship so let yeah, me go yeah, back no problem you can continue huh. yeah i will show you these all are 100% scholarship the same program bachelor master they can pay the fees also they can go for 100% scholarships also in english program did you get sir yeah please uh, yeah please tell in details uh, about that. i am saying the program which are showing in front of you these are the tuition fees paid the same program under the 100% scholarship they can study 3 years or 4 years without paying a single penny to the university you can learn or okay okay so same program procedure also the procedure is a little bit different i will tell you i will coming on to that procedure also yeah. this is the procedure yeah, yeah. no problem here you can you continue your uh, in your way November to January is the deadline. Yes. So 15 January, I need all the documents placed so that I can start the for the offer letter or the interviews. So let me go a little bit ahead. Okay, I was there. Okay, now come the application procedure, which is asked by like the Rajesh sir. So this is the process for scholarship. There is one central board, right? so the deadline is 15 january so before we need to say so there is a screening also written and oral test is there skype interview is there right but 
for a pay, fee paying student there is nothing they will simply come to us we will punch their online application they will select two programs the deadline is for september intake is june they will get the offer letter screening is there interview is there and then they will start their studies once they got the visa so both are different one's deadline is 15 january another's deadline is 30th june so both are different one is 100% scholarship and another one they need to pay 5000 euros or 6000 euro bachelor's master both are different altogether getting my point yes okay so now come the required documents so we need the passport we need the transcripts if it is a bachelor if it is not then grade 12 uh, dmcs then we need a motivational letter in both the case whether it is a bachelor's or masters or it is a scholarship or non scholarship now come the procedure so a student is not required ielts but we strongly says they should be a very good at english that is 62 and above 60 to 65 and the age which we can take it up upper limit is 27 years for a bachelor 27 years but that means we can take up a around how much gap generally somebody can say how much gap we can accept 6 to 7 years approximately roughly we can say okay so if i take a 19 year student is there so maximum it is a 7 to 8 years so if i talk about the bachelors so, and then comes a masters so if somebody is masters so 10 years gap if somebody has completed the 21 or 22 years so 32 to 33 years so this is the one of the significant and a student should not be failed in any subject and if gap is there they need to mention and motivation to join is there now comes skype interview what should i will ask my international team will ask family hobbies daily routine life in the country second personal motivation to choose budha based business school only why why do you want to study what do you know about the university what program you are going to study right what business administration is mean about how the job description what is the benefit of this third what do you know about budha based what is the skills what is the future so these are the things which are going to ask in the skype interview along with a maths test if it is a bachelor then it's a maths test it's uh, compulsory if it is a masters then there is no compulsion is there they don't have any ma ma uh, maths test at all and it is the maths test level is at 10th uh, class right so i think with this i am over with the like i will say a uh, part of uh, with this uh, university so any question so far you people have yeah no so it is almost clear almost clear amazed i am sure that i mean question should yes. be there why to go on actually why to even study? the backlog backlog part was because mainly i am looking into the back end operations so backlog part was also clear from your end uh, and uh, major question for counseling right counseling ke liye uh, uh, we need that yeah so if i say for example if any student come to you for example if any student is coming to you and let me share the screen with you again is my screen is being shared with all of you hello yes. yes your screen yes yes yeah. but your file is still opening yes uh, yeah now it has been opened right right now i think is the application procedure is seen to everyone that open file uh, is not visible. not yet the open file is still not visible uh, let me do it again let me do it again for all of you so i think now it will be shared yeah participant can see now it is so now you can see yes now, so here is the application procedure that remains the same that remains the same but it is a buddha pace metropolitan university the university has been changed so you can see here these are the programs here many more programs are there business administration commerce so these are the so many programs in earlier government university i don't have more program in private university i have more program this is again in buddha pace both are different right you can see here so many program then comes this is a bachelor now i am shifting to the this one campus and their dormitories they have shown there so they have a very nice figure out their things over there right 
So it is a university building. You can see over here, the students are there. And it is one of the largest university in, in terms of private. So they have a 6,500 student, although they have less student as compared to the government, but they are 1,200 plus student. Majority of the students are more of uh, international from 100 countries. Then there comes the uh, internship. They offer the internship in more than 100 plus there. The Tata, SAP is there. And then comes the master's program. They do have semester-wise fees. They are more. If I compare, their fees are more as compared to government yeah, university. There, you can see here. They have a September and same intake, but their fees is twice. Yeah, this is the application deadline you can see here, uh, over here. So, which you can show, see that B and BSc, what is the requirement? And this is the 10% generally we give a waiver. So, if any student is going, so we can let them go with this. So, this is the screen which I shared with you application for BA, BSc, MA, MSc, and intakes deadline for a, a non EU student, right? So now comes this, I have already shared with you that what you have almost heart of Yangri. So this is the math test. What sort of math test comes? That is important. If uh, that is a student is between 40 to 60, they will get a pass. And apart from that, they need to appear uh, for the math test. And these are the places of programs where they are going to appear for the things over there. And this is the courses for, in uh, I will say, in master's. It is more courses as compared to Buddha uh, business school because it is a private university. So they have more courses and their uh, like tuition fees are more. And the uh, scholarship is, I can say, well, less as compared to that because it is a private university. So they give not more than 10% of the scholarship on the total tuition fees paid. So, and this is the 2,600 euros. There you have a 2,500 euros. So that is the difference among themselves. All uh, so hello? now if I compare, so I myself say studying in a public university is more benefit. So here, so you can see here, it is a campus of the university, right? So this is the camp. So this, and this is the bachelor's program. You can see here seven semester, eight semester. Is that visible to all of you? Yes, 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 sir. Yeah. So this is the campus and this is the that thing, right? And thereafter, this is the campus one of the university. This is the second university uh, campus for IT. This is inside. And this is the overview. And this is the inside of the, uh, of the university, right? Then these are the classrooms. These are the classrooms where the student is going to study 101. And these are the master's program vehicle, different, different. So we have a computer science, we have a different. So we need to see in which university they will get what? This is a master's two-year program. And this university established in 1968. And thereafter, that is the 2002, it become a full university. And then it's world ranking, it comes into 2019 onwards. So from 19 to 22, it's on the world top 800 universities. So these are the faculties. You can see doctoral is there, uh, laws, mechanical, architecture, business. So many are there, more than one. We have health also. Faculty of health is also there with us. Right. So this is the location. So Buddha Pace, from Buddha Pace, it is 1.5 hours uh, away from that place. So it is equidistant from Bratislava, Vienna and Buddha Pace. So it is in the city where the plant of Audi is there. So that is 1,1724 square kilometers is there, 622 teaching staff, 1,000 plus employees, 13,000 students on the campus with nine faculties. So this is all about this university. And we have a four PhD and 27 programs and 50 students from different, different nationality. So this is the advantage of this university. One third of the cost, high quality education, third most popular and automotive industry, right zone for the student for mechanical engineering. So these are the reasons. So this is all about, about this university. I think somebody has a... Yeah, and uh, uh, what would be the eligibility criteria? 
for bachelors we need uh, need a grade 12 with at least 60 to 65 percent and the gap you, i have already shown you we can accept a gap yes, of seven gap, to eight yeah. years six to so seven that, okay yeah. but explanation is required what the student has did but generally we say the gap will be less the success of getting them is more right chances of getting is more and generally you can accept the student from refusal from us uk canada australia new zealand because they already have the ilts score so that will help yeah. them to get the visa very easily right yeah so if okay. i compare One... yeah you tell me mm -hmm. Yeah, tell no, me. no. So I, uh, so we get a lot of uh, senior applicants or senior people who are now wanting to move, especially in the age group of thirty-five to forty-five or more. Yeah. Uh, will we be able to basically proceed with their application if they are interested to apply for Hungary and uh, you know I have already explore given the their upper options? Hand. I have already given forty-seven. Yeah, th th thirty to thirty-three is the upper hand. We can't go beyond okay. that because already 33. ten years okay. of gap we have given. So it is very difficult okay. to say that whether they will get or not because everything comes. But for a PhD, we don't have any problem. If already done a master and he want to go PhD, yeah. we can go. But for masters, we okay. have still some limitations. Still, we have some limitations. But we are facilitating admission for PhD, right? Yeah, PhD, we don't have any problem. We don't have any okay. problem. Any okay. age group. Fine. Fine. Above 30, 35, 40, we can manage it altogether. Okay. Okay. So I think uh, in this, everything is uh, okay or still there is some questioning is there? I have one that. more question. I have one yeah, more yeah. question. This, uh, this Hungary, does it accept dependent cases? Uh, what do you mean by dependent cases? Like, kindly tell me like, what is uh, dependent. Yeah, applicant, applicant, spouse and the child. I will tell you only there are two countries who accept Denmark and Sweden. These are the only two countries who accept Apart from that, there is no country in Schengen or in European Union or in Europe who accept them as a dependent spouse. There is no country, not Hungary, any country, no country is there. Neither it is uh, Germany or France, Italy, Spain, all the all of them, they go on a st uh, study visas only. I think the uh, time is going to finish up. I think so. So I think uh, thanks for being all of you over here. Hello, can you hear my voice? Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. This was really helpful. Yeah. So if so still we'll... you have any question, you can get along with Janvi. So she is there sure. for Canada, but she can also uh, help you in European uh, applications assessment with their team. Okay. Right? Sure. Okay. Sure. Next time. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay.